This Wednesday show is a 1,000 point score according to BYU women's basketball and their annals. Paisley Johnson, welcome to Studio B. Congratulations on 1,000 points. Thank you, thank you. That was an epic moment for sure. So let's relive it, shall we? Because I love that. Apparently, when you do something good at BYU, you just get doused in water. Whether you're a coach <laughs> or a player, it's just water crazy, time, right? right? Yeah, that was crazy. I was completely, I had just taken a shower. And it was all, all really? everywhere. Really? It was post-shower? Isn't this normally pre-shower? Okay, no. I, I had taken a shower because all the girls made me take a shower with all the water. I didn't actually take a shower. I was just doused as oh, if uh, I had. Yes. Oh, yes. I guess. Yes. There you go. Yeah. I no. thought you would, like, already put... I was like, you were in your dream. You had it up. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was awesome. And you couldn't even see. Like, no. they, they got you good. I had girls from all different angles with all different water bottles. I had girls grabbing the ice from the cooler and chucking at me. I oh. was just like... Oh, ice is mean. Yeah, I was ice just like, cool. okay, I'm I'm getting hit. But it was so fun. I didn't expect <laughs> it. I didn't even know I was going to hit 1,000 points that game. So it was it was a surprise, and it was awesome that my teammates were just so... Like there with me with it. I asked, yeah, I asked it in the moment. Is it? This is a celebratory thing, right? Of course, this is, yeah. This is a like good thing, right? Ah! With ice? Yeah. No, yeah, it was so nice. I have an issue sweet. with throwing ice in this <laughs> moment. I think the water is fine, right? Ice is different. Um, let's talk about where this team's at. So, two games left in the regular season, as, as I mentioned, at home, both on BYU TV. Shameless plug. You guys have a chance at that two seed. Um, what what would it mean if you guys got that two seed to the semifinals? Triple by is a big deal. Um, yeah, going into the season, we either wanted the two seed, most definitely, obviously the first seed, but the second seed and the third seed, if that's what we wanted at the least. And so going into this last week of games, if we get that, we don't have to play as many games at the tournament, back to back to back. And so... That's less. Um, that's more legs for us in that championship game, and we just have a better shot there. Like, if we get second, if we get third, if we get third, we have to play another game on. I think it's either Saturday or Friday on Saturday, which that's not a problem. We'll have Sunday to rest, but um, if we get that, if we get that second seed, it's a lot easier route to the NCAA tournament. The legs aren't an issue for you. Come on, for the last <laughs> five games. Paisley's played 39 or 40 minutes. Yeah, what's up with you and Brenna? Do you ever come out of the game? <laughs> of the game? I guess not. Um, he just thinks we're Sonic, the Sonic Squirrel or something. But, um, yeah, surprisingly, I did, I've, I've gotten to, into shape this year, closer now to the end of the season. Not that I didn't the past years, but um, it's been good, and I've been able to keep up, and I just need to get more legs in at the end of the game so my shot's not as short, but... Paisley Johnson with us on BYU Sports Nation, the Sonic Squirrel or Hedgehog or whatever you want to be. <laughs> uh, when you consider where you are tied with San Diego, how much scoreboard watching takes place through the remaining regular season games? Yeah, it's awful because we usually play first just because that's how things have like played out. Plus in, in Utah. The well, mountain time zone. The mountain time's different, right? Um, but... Yeah, it's definitely going back and forth like, oh, are we praying to let them lose or something like that? But no, yeah, it's it's bouncing back and forth. What's the tiebreaker with San Diego, by the way? Remind me. Um, it's the Portland game. So right the, now it's the Portland game. Yeah. Because you split the regular season, or did yeah. you just split? Okay. And San Diego swept Portland. So San Diego needs to lose. Uh, and and you we need, to, need to continue to win. So, so win two games and then hope that San Diego Drops loses one. this. Okay, yes. gotcha. Big games this week, obviously with Pepperdine and Elmu. You beat both those teams by 18 and 15 respectively. So how do you make sure you win at home and do your part here? Right. So we got to just come out. Um, our defense has been what's been key the the whole year because. We really haven't been putting up the numbers that we usually do on offensive, on the offensive board. So, um, if we continue to do that and just shutting down teams and keeping them in their low numbers, we'll like have an incredible chance at scoring. And if we just come out with intensity and make sure every single play, with not scoring as much this season, we have to come with every single play and just be ready to, like, get on the floor if it's a loose ball or get that extra box out just to get the extra possession. Now, what people may not know is that energy and intensity that you bring to the actual game starts well before the game. <laughs> it's all about the pregame swag, right? you got to come in with the right attitude, the right mentality. 
and you have taken that to another level <laughs> with uh, an array of colors. So the Daily Universe puts out this picture of you walking into the Marriott Center, <laughs> into your locker room in the, in this getup. So walk us through how that happened and this the This is fantastic. Oh, describe Look, what that you, jacket. Describe what you're wearing here. Okay, so this is the vintage Nike tracksuit with a teal and purple <laughs> color frame. Um, shout out Stephanie Johnson, my mom. This was hers, and I stole it from her. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> and I brought it to college three years ago and just decided, okay, uh, this will come into use. Finally. I have Right? I have my purple aviators from somewhere in the <laughs> university mall. And then I have my Chanel bag that Connor got me from Italy. Oh, oh Connor. When he, when stepping the, up his game. The fall. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, now, it was fun because the universe did some of the women's team. They did some of the men's team. Now, Evan Troy had an incredible get up. Like a yes. Suit. Did, did, do you feel like yours is stronger than that? How do you feel? Um, I might have to give this one to him just because <laughs> that was outrageous and amazing. But, um, and that's not even the one I'm referring to. No, the one that's not the one. The jacket, um, with this good. one, sorry, I win that. I yeah, win that competition. You win that. Yep, you win but that. with his um, sweat suit, def or with his uh, suit suit, suit yeah, jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like suit suit better. With his suit with suit? With his suit suit. Um, yeah, he took, the, he took the cake with that one. By the I, way, I, I'm still reveling in the uh, awesome boyfriend moment from Connor. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. No. There's plenty of those. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, is there a signature oh. on that sweatshirt, yeah, by yeah, the way? Let's talk about that. I noticed that, too. You tried to cover it with your hair. Nice try. So it's definitely a little bit 44? faded. 44? Who's number 44 on the men's basketball oh team? <laughs> yeah, that's Connor Harding. Shout out number 44. He signed my yeah, um, particular sweatshirt interest in him. after he won um, a game. So which, which game? <laughs> okay, I can't really remember. It's the last one I went to because obviously I haven't been able to go as, a little busy. as many as him because um, I've been on the court as well. But, yeah, after one of them, I can't really remember, but he played really well. And this, I was like, you have to sign it. Is this while you were dating? Or oh, of before? course, okay. yeah. It was, yeah. Like, yeah. It was probably oh, yeah. like a month ago. Like a month ago? <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, while we're talking about Connor, uh, we want to turn you into an analyst right here. Okay. So he makes this nice pass to Yoli Childs. Um, mm -hmm. We want you to break this play down against Gonzaga. Perfect. So it's at the end of the game. So walk us through that pass to Yoli for the dunk. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, so he drives right, and um, I find out later that this play, it was actually supposed to be for TJ, but Connor decides to take it into his own accord and drive right. Um, obviously, he took that advantage, took two defenders with him, and just dumped it right off to Yoli with an exclamation point with Yoli completely, like, kipping on this dunk <laughs> and destroying Gonzaga at this point. So I think Gonzaga, after this one, definitely knew that the game was over and it was time to go home. So That was good. That, that was, was really, really good. good. Really, that was really, really good. good. Really good. Yeah. Yes. That was really good. The only thing that Connor didn't do well there is he, he didn't he didn't know that he you know how when you make a great play you're the first one up the court? Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes the other defenders looking up at the he he just slammed I into think, the Gonzaga. Yeah, I think <clears throat> he was definitely still watching and was pretty amazed at how like ecstatic Yoli was with that dunk, but sure. he was shocked. He was reveling in that amazing pass. Yeah. I just made an I amazing pass. Wow. Boom! I always get annoyed at the guys that are in my way, but it's like, no, I ran into him. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Coming back. That's my bad. Sorry. Paisley Johnson with us on BYU Sports Nation. Um, what is that like for you to watch um, an epic win like that in, this, in an interesting situation? Because you're coming off a loss, but you got to come home and move, and move it forward. So what were the emotions like for you on Saturday? Oh, it was crazy because we were in the airport and my whole team, we're doing our thing, we're doing homework, but then once the game's on, like, I have my laptop out with the game on, Lee has li his laptop out, Mally has hers, I have my phone set up, so if anybody needed that to go walk away and have it, like, we we're completely engrossed in that game and ready to support the boys, and um, we knew this game was huge for them, and it's just, um, it's just super exciting to have a program kind of go through what we went through last year um and it's just like i i can share those emotions i had last year with connor and just like relate with him and just kind of like live through him in that moment and then our time will come later on in the season and it's just different timing but 
yeah, my whole team was so excited. And then we're on the plane, and you know how they usually tell you to put the laptop away? Well, I still had mine out in the seat next to me, and, like, the lady was going to talk to me. I was putting Shaylee's blanket over mine so she didn't see it or something like that. So, yeah, we, we were definitely very excited. And although we were coming off that loss, um, I think it's it's also good to, like, watch the boys and see what we can learn from their team because um, – I, I, every single time I go on Instagram, there's always highlights of different teams in the NCAA, and it's just fun to see different girls and their ways of attacking or different boys with their ways of attacking teams, and it, it gives you inspiration. So um, I think definitely watching that game and seeing the heart and the focus and just all the intensity withdrawal in the BYU men's team and they, very exciting. And they learned from you, right? You guys yep. were a turning team last year. They were, <laughs> and, and uh, you're hoping to both be turning teams, right? Um, we actually hung out at the same restaurant, a local establishment. We just didn't. <laughs> we just we didn't, didn't know see about see each it. other or talk until you guys were walking out. We're like, oh, there's Paisley. Oh, hey, Paisley yeah. and Connor. And it's, <laughs> one, it's one a.m. We're uh, we're hanging out. That's great. Well, uh, good luck against uh, Pepperdine LMU. Let's give you the BYU Sports Nation karma. Two Take big it, games. Run with it, please. Both, both on BYU TV. And uh, thanks for coming in. Great Thank you guys. Here. Thank you so much. You got it, Paisley Johnson on BYU Sports Nation. Okay, coming up, who gets?